Hello everyone, and welcome to another SOLIDWORKS Tech Tip from Hawkridge Systems. This is Jacob Ames, Senior Applications Engineer, and in this video, we're going to be covering a slick way to choose colors for appearances in SOLIDWORKS 2021. But don't worry, even if you're on an older version of SOLIDWORKS, there's still a workaround available for you, so stay tuned. Applying appearances and colors to your SOLIDWORKS models can be a very important piece of ensuring that your designs communicate proper branding and send the right message to your collaborators. SOLIDWORKS 2021 makes this easier than ever before with the new eyedropper tool, enabling you to pick colors directly off your screen, even from third-party programs. By default, SOLIDWORKS supports colors in RGB and HSV color systems, so this is especially helpful for those of you working with non-SOLIDWORKS color systems, such as RAL or CMYK. With that, let's go take a look. Here I have a model of a snowflake I put together for the holiday season, and I'd like to apply a color to it that matches our Hawkridge Systems branding. Unfortunately, I don't know the proper RGB values for this color off the top of my head, and trying to color match by simply guessing at the color palette would be nearly impossible. With the new eyedropper tool in 2021, I can simply apply a new appearance or edit an existing appearance, then left-click and hold the eyedropper button next to the color selection bar. At this point, I can move my cursor to anywhere on the screen, including other programs like an internet browser or picture viewer. Then simply release the mouse button once the correct color shows in the preview box, and just like that, perfect color matching. It doesn't get much easier than that. The system automatically captures the appropriate RGB and HSV values for the color and applies it to the model. One thing to keep in mind though, because the eyedropper tool uses a click and hold technique, the color you want to use does need to be visible on the screen, as you won't be able to switch program windows once you click and hold on the eyedropper. Because of this limitation, consider using a second monitor to make things a bit easier. As an extra productivity tip, consider building a custom palette of your favorite colors for future reuse. Once you've chosen a color, simply click on the color bar, choose Define Custom Colors, and then add the color to your custom palette to make it even easier to select next time. You can also create entirely new color swatches using the button next to the swatch selector, and you can add and remove colors from the current swatch using the add and remove buttons for a fully customized set of colors. Now for those of you using earlier versions of SOLIDWORKS, this process is a bit more tricky. The key lies in obtaining the RGB or HSV values for the color you're trying to match. Now fortunately, there are several web services that can do this for you by processing an uploaded picture. If you're trying to capture a color from a website or another program, this means that you may need to save a screenshot of the color first in order to upload and process it properly. Once your image is ready for processing, consider a website such as imagecolor.com, which reports RGB values from uploaded images or from web addresses. Once uploaded, simply click on the image to see the RGB values at that location, and then return to SOLIDWORKS and input those values for perfect color matching. This process isn't quite as automated as it is in SOLIDWORKS 2021, but it's still simple enough, and with customizable swatches available, you can save these colors for future reuse to avoid repeating this process later. That's all there is to it. With these tools at your disposal, it's easier than ever to capture the perfect colors for your designs to communicate even more effectively. For those of you who want to take your appearances even further, make sure to check out the video we've linked in the description, which covers a strategy for creating multicolor custom appearances in SOLIDWORKS from imported image files. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Our channel features hundreds of SOLIDWORKS tech tip videos answering common questions from the SOLIDWORKS community, and new videos are released every week. And of course, if you have any recommendations for working with colors and appearances that weren't covered here, let us know in the comments. And be sure to check out hawkridgesys.com for more information and professional SOLIDWORKS training opportunities. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.